the first picture comes from San Francisco, and he's an entrepreneur. We have a lot of entrepreneurs today, but his focus is on information security, which is very cool. At least I think it's very cool because I'm a geek. I hope you'll think it's going to be cool too. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. My uh, presentation is going to make as, about as much sense as that in karaoke. All right, so my name is Richard Noctis, and today I'm going to talk to you about monkeys, elephants, and how these can help us ask a couple important questions about traditions and restraints in order to become better entrepreneurs. So, follow me to the zoo. First, we encounter a group of four monkeys. And these monkeys have gone through psychological experimentation. And they don't no longer want what other monkeys really, really want. But they don't know why. So you'll find out. You see, first there was a group of monkeys who went into the cage and saw a banana on top of the pole. So one monkey ran up. But the, the other monkeys were punished by getting freezing cold water thrown on them. So the next time that another monkey went up, they dragged them down. One of the original monkeys was replaced with a new one who went up quickly to get the bananas and again this monkey was dragged down. So this monkey then repeated the same process to the next monkey until there were four new monkeys who ex accepted the established tradition that one does not go up the pole to grab the bananas but they didn't really know why. So if we asked them, monkeys, hey, why do you not just go up the pole and get the bananas? They might answer this way, oh it's tradition. It's, uh, it's part of our organizational policy. Uh, it's part of our organizational culture. It is just the way things are done here. Uh, any change would also change our identity. So we move on, and we encounter this giant elephant, and it's being held by this tiny, thin rope. And you wonder, why doesn't this elephant just break free? So you ask this trainer, and the trainer responds, you see, when the elephant was a baby, we used the same size rope to tie him with. And no matter how hard he struggled, he was never able to break free. So he became, day after day, defeated by this rope. Until eventually, he simply just gave up trying. He accepted the belief that the rope was stronger than he, no matter what. And the restraint, regardless of how he grew and how, much he, he, how stronger he became, was always the same. So the strong rope became strong and remained strong as long as it, throughout his life, regardless of how strong he grew, until he was defeated and he no longer wished to escape and yet was comforted by the rope. So wait, hold on a minute, Richard. Why, why, how does elephants, monkeys, and how do elef uh, uh, monkeys and elephants with rope issues, what does that have to do with entrepreneurship? Well, I think they can help us think about two things. They can help us think about traditions and restraints. The traditions in the environments that surround us and the restraints that keep us from moving forward. Entrepreneurs should look at traditions like this. This is what I call tradition reformation. They should take the tradition, extract from it what they want in order to do something that they want to do. So from tradition, they can start their own business, trade pets now. When faced with an environment where procedure or policy or some long, un, long forgotten unknown entity re, does not allow you to get your goal, just change it. Be resourceful. Use the environment that's around you, even if you have to break down the room to do it, in order to achieve and to reach the goal that you want to reach. When you're first starting out, when you're first starting out in business, when you're first starting out as an entrepreneur, the weight of the world can be debilitating. It can almost weigh you down. But remember that this, this, as the stronger you grow, these restraints are going to become weaker and weaker until they're no longer going to matter. They're, not going, they're no longer going to weigh you down. And you have to remember that they do become weaker over time as you grow. As you grow as an individual and as you grow in your business. But you have to remember to never, ever, ever, ever give up. We would not have four cars to get into, go buy an iPad so that we can watch Disney movies and eat a bucket of chicken if these individuals had given up. So, entrepreneurs, be careful of the traditions that surround you in those walls, in those institutions 
that you have in your life. And don't give ropes to the past any more power than they, that they had in the, in the past. Don't give them any more power now. Or you won't be any different than a monkey with unanswered questions or a giant elephant afraid of a thin litter rope. Thank you.